And here's our first example of how to balance chemical equations. Now notice what I wrote down. We have two reactants here. We have sodium and water. When you place those together, this will yield a reaction and you end up with sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Now notice also that I left some room in front of each of the reactants and in front of each of the products in case I need to put numbers in front of those to make the equation balanced. So where do you want to start? Well, notice that we have sodium only appearing once on the left side of the equation and we have sodium only appearing once on the right side of the equation, which means that whatever we have here, the number in front of that must equal the number in front of here. So we know that those two numbers must be the same whatever they are, otherwise sodium will never be balanced because those are the only places sodium appears. So if we have a 1 there, that means we're going to need a 1 over here. If we have a 2 there, that means we're going to need a 2 over there, and so forth. All right, next we have H2O here, we have OH and H2. Notice that we have H appearing once here, but H appearing twice there. So that's probably not a good place to go next. But we do have oxygen once here, and we have oxygen once there. So that also tells us that these two must be the same. So whatever number we place here must be the same as the number we place over there because there's oxygen one there, oxygen one there, so we know that this must be the same number as that, which means that this number must also be the same as that. So, so far we're in pretty good shape. This can be anything because it's by itself and we'll put whatever number we need to put here to get the hydrogen to be balanced on both sides of the equation. Now, Notice that here we have hydrogen, only one hydrogen in this molecule, and here we have two hydrogens in this molecule. So together, if this was a one and this was a one, we would have three hydrogens on the right side of the equation. And on the left side of the equation, we have hydrogen two, which means there's two atoms of hydrogen in this molecule. So that means we can only have either two or four or six or eight hydrogens by a step of two. And here we have two and one, that adds up to 3, so there's no way they can make this equal to 3, so you have to make this equal to, to an even number. In other words, we have to have an even number of hydrogens or hydrogen moles here, which means if I make this into a 2, now I have two hydrogens here plus another two hydrogens there, that's for a total of four hydrogens on the right side of the equation, and then if I turn this into a 2, then I have four hydrogens over here. So first I balance the sodium, I was good. Then I balanced the oxygen, it was good, simply by realizing that these had to be the same number. But then when I looked at hydrogen, I could only have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 hydrogens on the left, and here I have 2 plus 1 is 3. That means I could never balance that, so if I make this into an even number, multiplying this by 2, I now have 2 hydrogens here, plus 2 hydrogens here, that's a total of 4 hydrogens, which means I need to put a 2 in front of here to give me 4 hydrogens on the left. So now hydrogen is balanced, but now the rest isn't balanced anymore. Well, let's see here. We have two oxygens and we have two oxygens. So oxygen is balanced, but now we have one sodium here and we have two sodiums there. But just like the box indicated, whatever number I add here, I also have to have over here, so I must place a two over there. And now it looks like everything is balanced. So take a look here. We have two sodiums, two sodiums, sodium is balanced. We have two times two, which is four hydrogens. We have two hydrogens here and two hydrogens there, that's four hydrogens. And finally, we have two oxygens on the left side and we have two oxygens on the right side and that's balanced as well. And now the whole equation is balanced. So two sodium, uh, two moles of sodium plus two moles of water form two moles of sodium hydroxide and one mole of hydrogen gas. You can put a one there if you like, doesn't matter, but now it's complete. That is the balanced equation.